Hello and welcome to my channel. I am the Silver Wheel Witch. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Witch's Moon box for October of 2023. Um, so I have not really taken a look inside the box yet, but my first recording kind of stopped suddenly for some reason. So do over. So let's go ahead and dive right in and see what we have. It's a really beautiful box here. So we have an oracle card reading. Let's see what it says. Clear your mind, be present, focus, embrace. Beautiful. Always love their oracle readings. And I'm gonna go ahead and read the theme for this box. I do like to try and read the information at the end of the videos for anyone who's interested in the additional information. Um, but for now, let's just read the theme. We have the exclusive Call of Hecate collection. Thrumming in the healing darkness, the Call of Hecate can be heard amongst the jangling of her keys. She beckons us to hear her invitation. She is keeper of keys, the anima mundi, the guardian of the inward gates. She invites us to be reborn, to reclaim our power, and to break through the binds that block our progress. We have been molding this collection for over a year and cannot wait for these exclusive handmade items to finally reach their new homes. Of the 81 Witches Moon collections we have created in previous years, this is one that will be sealed as among our favorites and most stunning. Join us this Samhain season to heed the call of Hecate and awaken our wild and magical self. It is always important to remember that your craft should be personalized for your specific intention. Any guidance that you may receive from others is simply an outline of systems that have worked for them. We urge you to explore and follow your intuition to create what feels that most right to you. In the end, this is where the most potent magical results are formed. May the items in this collection bring you insight and inspiration. And we will hold off on the rest until the last so that we can be surprised by what we receive here. Uh, let's see, it looks like we have a hymn to Hecate gorgeous artwork. Uh, we have some artwork on cauldron. Very gorgeous. Love that. Okay, let's see what else we have. Looks like we have a big piece of artwork. Let's see if I can get that in the camera here. Beautiful. Okay. There we go. And let's see what we have in the box. So let's see first. Well, got quite a few things here. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, so looks like we have a little cauldron, possibly. Let's open this and see. Ooh, look at that. This is nice. It's got the keys. Uh, actually, it's a key and a torch and a sword. And we have a moon. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, love that. Oh, labyrinth there. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see. We have some candles. Feels like we have two candles this time. Yes. Oh, they're very pretty. So they've been rolled into the shape of like a pillar candle. We've got two of them. Gorgeous purple color. Love that. And it looks like we have a big bag in here. I'm not sure if everything else is inside this bag. Kind of looks like it is. So we have this 
huge everything's packaged inside this nice big bag you can still hear a bell or something in there and just make sure there's nothing else in this box uh, there is not so let me go ahead and set that aside all right well, let's see what kind of goodies we have in our bag so we have a Hecate offering herbal blend. So probably for incense or for your altar. We have a ooh, cedar sage, nice small sage stick. Very nice. I love cedar, I wanna smell that. I love the smell of trees. Oh yeah. That's divine. It's like you're standing in a forest, cedar forest. Love it. Okay, what else do we have? Ooh, a stone. Let's see. It could be an obsidian, possibly. I'm not sure. It's got some, looks like flex, but I think that's just like clear in with the black i'm not sure we'll see what the uh, paperwork says what kind of stone that is we have our incense sticks cinnamon they probably smell amazing let's take a smell oh yeah good old innocent cinnamon incense sticks and here is a bell what is this so we have oh looks like a scroll with a little key on it and a bell. Oh, this is cool. This is way cool. All right, so it's got a pentagram on there on one side. Very nice. Okay. And then we have, it looks like the soul guide this must be the um, bath salts and it's sealed here so um so let me see if i can open it try to tear it open that one wasn't sealed too close to the seal here Ooh, look how pretty that is it's got some blue flowers in there kind of a purpley blue mm. Oh, that smells amazing. Okay. Very nice. Bath salts. And then it looks like we have black sand. So you could put the sand into your cauldron and you can burn incense sticks in there and your offerings. Looks like that. So black sand. I'm not going to open that because I don't want to make a mess. And it looks like a spray, Queen of the Witches. Yes, Queen of Witches, gorgeous. Let's put the spray thing in there and see what it smells like. Smells almondy a little bit. Amongst some other things, maybe some vanilla in there. Not sure. We'll spray it off to the side and see what it smells like. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. I love their sprays. So we'll look on the paperwork. Actually, let's do that real quick before I read through the whole paperwork. Um, and I want to see what they say about the scroll as well. I don't want to open it yet if it's not intended to be opened yet. So let me see what the paperwork says for that. And for the spray, I want to see what is in the spray. And it looks like this um, 
is hand cast. So they actually made this. How awesome is that? I mean, that is pretty cool that they actually made that. Um, okay, Queen of Witches, Ritual Aura Spray. This one here. We are thrilled to be able to introduce our Queen of Riches, Witches Ritual Aura Spray within this special collection, created with the intention of calling upon Hecate during ritual or throughout your day. This potent blend holds a bounty of protective, powerful energies. We have created this aura spray with the oils of patchouli, almond, definitely could smell the almond, um, myrrh, jasmine, that was the floral scent I could smell, and a special mixture of our Hail Hecate magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Shake well before using, be cautious when using this spray as some may be more sensitive than others. Start by spraying the air three to four feet away from you, external use only. Okay, and then the stone. This was a tumbled galaxy obsidian. Um, as stated within entering Hecate's cave by Cindy Brannon, Black Obsidian is a real powerhouse. When we first enter Hecate's cave, we invoke this stone spirit as an ally for the entire journey. Carry this stone with you throughout your day to call upon Hecate's energies when you feel they are needed. Very cool. So it must be a galaxy obsidian because it's got a lot of the little like specks in it. It's very cool looking. Okay, what else do we have? The herbal blend. I can tell you what's inside that. So the herbal blend has been conjured together with mugwort, wormwood, and motherwort. Place upon your altar as an offering to Hecate or incorporate into your magical creations to bring about psychic visions, messages from spirits, or guidance from ancestors. External use only. Okay, how about the bath salts? Let's see what they had in the bath salt. Uh, let's see. It's on page one. No, did I miss it here? Let's see. Aura spray, stone, herbal blend. Oh, here we go. Soul Guide Sacred Salt. This very special blend has been created with the intention of opening yourself to messages, guidance, and wisdom during the months ahead. The variety of herbs and oils used within this sacred salt were chosen for their ability to open doorways to the intuitive soul. We have enchanted this sacred salt with lavender and lang lang oils, as well as blue cornflower and lavender herbs. We have also included a special mixture of our seeker magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of this sacred salt. If bath is unavailable, steep bath salts in a bowl of warm water and wash over skin to benefit from the energies within. Okay, now I want to find out about this scroll petition. Hand stained Hecate's petition scroll um, is rolled and twined. This petition scroll was created for you to write down your intentions. This could be your overall goal for the journey you intend to begin. This beautiful petition has been lovingly created for you by A.E. Alden exclusively for this very collection. So I think that this doesn't have any writing on it yet. That it is just a, let's take a look. There we go, I see. Rubber band. It's just gorgeous. Oh yeah, I see. Very nice piece of paper, very thick, um, high quality, and it just looks like it's hand stained for you to write. So 
your intentions on and then you can retie the uh, the rope around it like that. Very nice. Okay. Um, we have the bell. So the hanging bell. Hecate's hanging bell to accompany you during your Samhain rituals. We have included a pentacle bell strung on a thick piece of twine for you to hang before your rituals or meditations begin. Ring your bell to pronounce that you have started your magical process. Also, you can use this bell as a calling forth of Hecate or specific spirits and energies to assist you during your shadow work. Very nice. Um, we have the Orphic Hymn to Hecate Book of Shadows artwork. This beautiful, well-known Orphic Hymn to Hecate has been surrounded by a dark and enchanting illustration. Recite this hymn before ritual or meditation to awaken Hecate from within. Okay, and what else did we not cover on this page? Oh, the cedar stick, so four inch cedar sage stick, as well as providing protection and expelling negative energies and vibrations, cedar sage has the wonderful ability to bring grounding and earthly energies into your environment. As the smoke from the sage stick travels around your home, we recommend verbally reciting your intentions so that the energy that remains is charged with your authentic purpose. Be sure that you use over a fire, fireproof bowl um, filled with sand to catch any ash. So we have black sand here and we have a fireproof um, cauldron so you could put sand in here and the sage stick can sit inside here with the fireside down when you're not holding it over it to smoke very cool love that very nice okay um, did they give us any information on the black sand artwork scroll bell um, Book of Shadows artwork. So we have the wonderful Hecate Book of Shadows reference artwork has been created to provide you with a key to the many symbols associated with the Queen of Witches. Keep this print within your Book of Shadows reference or display in your sacred space. Written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. Do not make copies, not for resale. We went over the aura spray, the stone, the herbal blend, the sage stick, the cinnamon offering, um, soul guide, sacred salt, the personal oracle reading. So they always um, do an oracle reading for each box. This says we have meditated and selected a card from the ancestor spirit oracle card deck by Jade Sky, illustrated by Belinda Morris to place inside your inside your box. The card and the message that it holds is meant for you. Take the time to connect with the imagery and included intention. We recommend interpreting this message as a focus point for the coming moon cycle or Samhain meditations. They always include a piece of parchment paper to write down your intentions for the month. And a couple more items on the front we haven't read through yet. The hand rolled um, dual Hecate spiral spell candles. We have hand rolled these um, candles with intention to honor Hecate during ritual or meditation. Um, during Samhain, we recommend burning these candles at the same time as a representation of duality, past and future, darkness and light. We have included the oils of Lang Lang, Patchouli, and Amber into the rolling of the spell candle. We recommend documenting your experience 
within your book of shadows. If you are unable to use a candle holder that might fit the candle, place over a plate or offering dish in which you would like to burn your candle, place a flame to the bottom of the candle, allowing a few seconds, um, oh, allowing for a puddle to form and then hold for a few seconds. This technique will allow you to burn your candle on any surface. Always use caution when burning any candle, keeping water close and using a fireproof container. Okay, and then we have the Cauldron Book of Shadows artwork created exclusively for this very collection. This beautiful and inspired Cauldron Book of Shadows artwork provides a wonderful description of the history and magical uses of this valuable tool. Keep this print within your Book of Shadows for reference or display in your sacred space. And the black sand included within this collection, you will find a bag of black sand intended for you to place within your cauldron. Once inside, you can easily place um, the wood end of your incense sticks firmly in the sand, allowing it to burn upright. Okay, and last but not least, we have the information um, on the cauldron itself, which is absolutely stunning. And let's see what it says. Hand cast brass Hecate's cauldron, the witch's moon exclusive, we are filled with so much joy to finally be sharing this creation with you. The exclusive Brass Hecate's Cauldron was meticulously designed and handcrafted for this very collection with the purpose of representing our honoring of Hecate. This cauldron was created to place offerings within or fill with black sand so that you may burn stick incense relevant to Hecate upon your altar. We do not recommend placing charcoal discs within this cauldron as it will become very hot and hard to handle. If you so wish, this cauldron can act as a candle holder as well. As stated in previous writings by G. Ibis, we are called to work with Hecate during this time, as we resonate so deeply with her absolute aspects of wisdom, it is important to know her, to know that Hecate communicates and is realized in many different ways to almost everyone. As with the most sacred, ancient, and magical practices, they are personal and resonate as something that has been created within ourselves. We connect to our own perceptions on a very personal and individualistic level. This is the very reason why we are so passionate about the sacred paths, as they are so deeply tailored to each person's desires, understandings, and intentions. We heed Hecate's call during these times as she is a powerful protector to those that follow the many paths of witchcraft. She guides us to and portrays the deep and ancient knowledge that resides within each of us. If we allow ourselves to be open and intuitive, among the many names of Hecate, she is called and considered the guardian of the great gates, the illuminator, the queen of witches, the highest priestess, priestess and for us, the keeper of keys, Hecate, in all of her forms, has the ability to guide and direct spirits that wander upon the darkness of the thinning veil. There are many stories of her ability to provide guidance by torchlight for Persephone as she walked through the underworld. She is deeply connected with all animals, specifically black and mysterious canines that walk beside her waiting for her call of assistance. Hecate holds the deepest and most sought after wisdom connected to the mysteries of the underworld and is the gatekeeper for all of those that are worthy to wander within. She is commonly depicted as 
in triple goddess form, which is a sacred symbol within our practice and provides the resemblance of the great cycle of our journey. She is often associated with the wise woman or crone, for she has such deep and magical mysteries to share with those that are considered the outcasts, the taboo, the different, the witch. This great and wonderful goddess of the night is an honorable deity to provide offerings to or to call upon when you stand at the crossroads. In very simple terms, we all stand at the crossroads during each stage of our journey. As we look behind us, we recognize the past, the deep and painful lessons learned, and the beauty found within them. As we look to our current situation, we resonate with the potential yearning, growth, and connection with power and perseverance. We then look at the road ahead, seemingly splitting into a multitude of directions and decisions. We call, we can call upon Hecate for guidance, intuition, and favor. If our intentions are pure and of worthy recognition, Hecate may cast wisdom upon us, even assisting us in connecting with our guides for the intervention of spirit during difficult times. This is commonly a very personal and deep traveling experience. Magic and mystery is found in our deepest realizations, buried in the immense and vast labyrinth found within ourselves. As it stated, as is stated, as above, so below, as within, so without, as you continue to learn about the work with about and work with Hecate, we urge you to reach out to those things that call to you most. Connect with those things as they are meant for you, energetically and spiritually, providing you the most beautiful, uh, the most benefit during the specific time in your specific reality. You will find that every aspect of this cauldron is associated with a symbolic representation of Hecate and her beautiful magic included within this cauldron. You, um, you will a book of shadows artwork that provided more in-depth, oh, they also included a book of shadows artwork that provides a more in-depth information regarding each of these symbols. As you incorporate this magical item into your workings, we urge you to travel deep within yourself to face the constant fear and to embrace the shadows within. May these changing seasons bring you the beauty and transformation and growth. We have created only a limited number of these cauldrons. Once they are gone, they will never be created again. Very gorgeous, beautiful. Love the witch's moon, love their boxes. Um, they put so much care and heart into these. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear from you and have a blessed day.